welcome to medicine handy point today we will discuss um, a patient presenting to the clinic with the limb weakness and we will take history from that patient so uh, let's discuss as usual the first question we will ask about the onset and duration onset and duration they are important in the sense that acute onset of any weakness is most likely a vascular phenomena so uh, means a vascular event like cardiovascular accident so that's very important then the duration of the limb weakness is important in the context that if it's a unilateral weakness in occurring within 24 hour and then resolving within 24 hour uh, it can be a tia transit ischemic attack so uh, that's why the onset and duration is important. Then we will ask about the characteristic of the limb weakness. This one we will ask the patient, please describe what you mean by limb weakness. Um, if the patient descri uh, describe it as a stiffness, is something different. And if the patient describe that there is a muscle weakness, it is something different. And if the patient said that there is no coordination, uh, when he or she walks, it's something different. So, precise description what the patient means by the uh, limb weakness is important. Sometimes the patient, when they are fatigued and they are uh, sick, they feel uh, weak and they attribute that as a uh, limb weakness. So, we have to properly establish what the patient means by limb weakness. Then we will ask about how the limb's uh, weakness is progressing. We will ask about the symmetry of the symptom because asymmetrical weakness is seen as problem while symmetrical weakness uh, can be some other problems. Um, it can be muscle problems, a systemic problem so like muscle problem in the sense it can be myositis polymyositis or um, uh, and uh, systemic diseases some other demyelinating diseases like gbs can present with symmetric weakness so symmetry is very important then we ask about any such event in the past in the contest it could be multiple sclerosis then we will ask about the precipitating and relieving factor. Precipitating relieving factor will help us establish what makes the weakness better, what makes it worse. So we'll get some idea. Then we will attribute this weakness to some disease. So we'll ask a few questions about particular diseases. We'll ask about dysphagia. If dysphagia and weakness, muscle weakness, limb weakness is means a stroke. If the patient is complaining of facial weakness and sensory loss uh, and on one side and weakness on the other side, it can be a brainstem uh, lesion, infarct, stroke. If the patient is complaining of problem with uh, swallowing, problem with talking, seeing uh, double images and vertigo, it could be again brainstem lesion. Uh, if the patient is complaining of ataxia uh, and tremors, it could be cerebral lesion. If the patient is having problem with splinteric uh, splinters like um, urinary and fecal incontinence or retention with limb weakness, it can be distal spinal cord disease. Uh, if the patient is complaining of headache, nausea, vomiting, seizure, and limb weakness, it can be space occupying lesion in the brain. Uh, if the patient is having weakness uh, uh, and having fever, uh, it could be meningitis, encephalitis, and brain abscess. Then if the patient is having uh, any neck pain with the lymph weakness, it could be carotid dissection. If the patient is having back pain with spenteric dysfunction, it could be spinal cord compression. Uh, if the patient is having fever, anorexia, weight loss, uh, it could be some kind of systemic infection or malignancy now spreading to CNS or spinal cord uh, or vertebra, uh, so causing the lymph weakness. Then we will ask about myasthenia gravis and GBS. We will, for myasthenia, we will ask the patient, do you feel weak by the evening time? 
and for GBS we will ask that do you have any pain in needle sensation in lower limb followed by weakness in lower limb ascending upward so this will cover our limb weakness uh, topic from etiology point of view in the past medical history we will ask about ta and stroke multiple sclerosis atrial fibrillation prone uh, leading to ischemic stroke congestive cardiac failure again leading to stroke malignancy uh, can uh, metastasize to the brain causes weakness will ask about any epilepsy risk factor for cardiovascular and ischemic heart disease like diabetes and hypertension in drug history we will ask about antiplatelet anticoagulant because they can lead to bleeding inside the brain leading to weakness family history will be important in context of stroke epilepsy and ischemic heart disease social history will be important in context of uh, smoking cocaine impact on weak impact of weakness on on uh, job place activity and daily life home activities i hope you like the video and please subscribe to the channel